Okay, welcome everybody to a class on first conditional. What's first conditional? It's if, okay, it's if. Second conditional is if as well, and so is third conditional. But we're going to look at first conditional today, if. And in the next class, we'll look at second conditional, which is if and would. First conditional is if and will and won't, but it's not will or won't here. And that is very, very important because this is the most common mistake. I think in many languages, you use first conditional with a will here and a will here. I think you do this in many languages because many students from many different countries make this mistake. And so I assume that they are translating from their own language and they think, well, in my language, I use if and will and then will again. So I'm going to do that in English. But it's not correct because in English, when you make an if sentence you, in first conditional, which is real, I'll tell you what I mean or I'll show you what I mean in a second. You need present simple in the if part. So if you say if I will immediately, you are wrong. If I will is wrong. Don't say it, please. You need to say if I and then present simple. OK, here's an example. If I see him, I will give him your message. Yeah, if I see him, I will give him your message. OK, and I want you to understand that even if we change the word if for when, when I see him, I will give him your message. Still, we don't use will after the when. OK, we say when I see him, present simple, I will tell him. And that's very important because, again, I think in many languages you say when I will see him and that's not correct in English. So be careful, be aware of the most common mistake and don't make that mistake. I want you to say if I see him, I will give him your message and you will do this in a second when you answer my questions with first conditional. OK, but let me just give you a few more examples. If I see him, I will give him your message. Yeah. If it is sunny, we will have a picnic. Yeah, we will have a picnic if it is sunny. And yes, you can use this clause first. I will give him your message if I see him. You can swap them around. You can say I will give him your message if I see him. And still it's if I see. Yeah, and not will see. So here it is. I will give him your message if I see him. No will. OK, after if. Never use a will after if. It's wrong in English. It might be correct in your language, but in English it's wrong. OK, so we see the same grammar structure with other conjunctions. If is a conjunction. It joins clauses together. When, before, after, until, unless they are conjunctions. And with all of these, we use present simple. So when I will is wrong. Before I will is wrong. After I will is wrong. Until I will is wrong. Unless I will is wrong. OK, you need to speak like this. When I arrive, not will arrive, when I arrive, I will call you. Yeah, when I get to the station, I will call you. When I get to my destination, I will call you. OK, there's one example. Here's another example. Unless it rains, which means if it doesn't rain. Yeah, unless is negative if. If it doesn't rain means unless it rains, we will have a picnic. Yeah, if it doesn't rain, we will go outside, we will eat outside, we will have a picnic. So unless it rains, we will have a picnic. Unless is negative if, that one at the bottom. And we also do it with before and until and after. Here's my example. It, I, I will do that before I go to work. Yeah, maybe I will call him before I go to work. Maybe I will have breakfast before I go to work. Maybe I will um, get dressed. Good idea. Before I go to work. Yeah. So that's before. But until is very similar. Look at my drawing here. Um, before means this one. This one is before. Before means that you... You do one thing and finish it before you go to work. Until means you keep doing something until you go to work. Until